UCF had a 23-0 lead and then uh, maybe took the foot off the pedal a bit in the second half. Some things I know to work on during the upcoming uh, bye week of uh, practice. Uh, some uh, thoughts on this football game? Well, I don't think UCF took their foot off the pedal as much as it probably slipped off the pedal. I mean, really, it was the tale of two halves there with FIU in the first half. Only have 26 total yards, um, only eight and a half minutes of possession time versus UCF 21 minutes. It was really the first half was completely dominated by the Knights. You go into the third quarter, and they started clicking, getting a touchdown there in the opening drive for them on the third quarter and and, and, and extending drive. So, yeah, there's going to be some things to work on for UCF going into the offseason. Mizzou's going to come in a much better team than FIU. We're going to need the fan support again. But I think there's going to be no shortage of things for Coach O'Leary to work on both offensively and defensively. No coaching staff would wish to have a second half as in contrast of what uh, UCF did in the first half today. But I think the silver lining here is these kids aren't going to be overconfident. They're not going to think that they put together four quarters of smash mouth football like they did in the first half versus FIU. Maybe go into a bye week not working as hard because they think they've already arrived. What they've seen now is, yeah, they can play great football if they do things right, but you do a couple little things wrong, good teams will take advantage of that. Great teams will turn those, turn those games around and, into the loss column.